describe what you saw happen? We, I was just walking up to the station and there was a loud bang and a guy, someone crashed a car and so I took some pedestrians out and they were just laying there and then the whole crowd just surged around the corner just by the gates just opposite Big Ben and a guy came past my right shoulder with a big knife and just started plunging it into the policeman. I just... I've never seen anything like that. I just can't believe it. ...bridge itself, where, you know, as I looked across the pavement, I just saw a scene of carnage, uh, bodies uh, littering the pavement at the northern end of the bridge, and then as I looked uh, down the bridge, I just saw more and more uh, people lying on the ground, being attended to by passers-by because, uh, you know, the ambulance services hadn't yet arrived. They were sort of arriving uh, at that moment. Uh, and you just have a complete sense of shock and bewilderment because you can't imagine what had happened. Um, and then very quickly, uh, special forces arrived and there's police everywhere with uh, machine guns. But um, How are you doing now? Uh, I'm doing fine, thanks. I mean, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, in someone's, uh, someone's apartment, just uh, essentially just sort of um, uh, de- uh, sort of de-stressing the whole whole event you know sure. um, i mean you know it it, it you know, tragically life goes on and um i think that's probably the best way of uh, dealing with it um you know and uh, i think the other big lesson from this is that i i've learned is frankly everybody should get first aid trained because you know there are moments like that when it, i mean there were other passers-by who, who were helping but if you've got first aid training then you've got the confidence to go in and uh, and help before the medics arrive.